resin I'm using for this tiered tray is my glass cast. I've still got some left. Um, I've run out of every other resin. I'm using two silicone baking trays. Of course, gloves. Now, I'm using some Halloween glitter confetti stuff. I just have such an urge to just chuck all this in. But I'm going to try and restrain myself. I also might not restrain myself. So yeah, we shall see how I feel. I am also going to be using some mica powders. Um, probably just the dark one. Might throw in some green. I really am terrible. Depends on my mood. But yeah, these are the glitters as well I'm going to be using to hopefully draw out a spider web. And of course you'll need your measuring jug, your tools and your mask to get rid of those bubbles if you're heating it. Be safe. Let's go. But the three is in weight 100 to 50. So it's 100 of this to 50 of the hardener. So I'm just going to measure that out now, mix it up and get to pouring. I need to think about the unit that I'm using. So if I unscrew it, I know that I've probably got around about that thickness to work with before it won't screw in anymore. As I pour, I'm gonna go really slowly because I really wanna avoid the air bubbles, but I'm gonna zoom you in. And then as I go, I'm gonna clicky clicky it with my lighter, but make sure you're wearing your gloves and your mask for this. I've got my window open as well. Now, following on from loads of advice I've had in the past, if I don't want these babies to move in here, then really it has to be a thin layer of resin. And guys, I would say this is one millimeter thick at the thickest. I'm just going to press these into the resin using my little tool, but I have just noticed there's, the base of this is a little bit raised. I'm just gonna make sure that they are all covered in the resin. Okay, so this is actually the first time I've used my torch. I've got my mask on. Um, I was just really struggling to get rid of the bubbles a little bit in these because I had to just make up another little batch quickly. So if you're using a torch, be super careful. I've got all the windows open. Got my mask on, got my gloves on. And do not put it against the resin. You want it high up just to get rid of those. So this is a culinary torch that I bought from Lidl's. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there come back tomorrow and then we'll carry on right it is the next day i've just turned down the exposure on the camera so you can see the spider web it really wasn't picking it up i've used these glitter glues to put a spider web on this one and it is pretty gorgeous um now i'm gonna put one on the small one so i'm gonna turn the exposure back up
they are both dry those spider webs so they are solid as a rock what i'm doing now is just mixing up some more resin just to add that mica powder to give that last layer so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and mix this and then we'll come back i've got my mask on so if i'm sounding funny sorry but i have to have it on so i am using this mica powder that resin pro sent me it's an absolutely gorgeous a metallic -y kind of black and purple so I'm just going to shake quite a bit in there you don't need much mica powder um, but I am going to shake that much in and then give it a stir and check it out see what it looks like and then if I feel like I want more I'm going to add some more oh look at that colour oh it's gorgeous zoom you in are you ready? This is the tricky part because the um, plates came with this. I want to make sure it's not too deep so that I can still fit these things together. Um, so I'm just going to eyeball it as you could measure up the side and make a little mark. So you don't want to go higher than that. But I am just going to go for it. I don't know if this is going to work. But we shall see. Oh, that is so beautiful. I'm looking down the side now of the mould, I can see through with the light, definitely don't want any more than that. I have mixed up a second batch of that gorgeous, look at this colour guys, absolutely stunning colour. But yeah, I'm going to pour this in, I've made a little bit more for this one, because it is wider. Pour it in, get the bubbles and then we're going to leave it, probably I'm going to leave it for a couple of days. I really do want it to be as set as possible okay it has been two days i am ready to pop these out oh my goodness me a little bit excited have you heard that before <laughs> before i uh, pop them out i just want to say this is the original plate that the tiered tray came in so what i want to do is make sure that i've got a drill bit that's just perfect enough for that hole so i've got my drill out my drill bits out and i've measured so i've got the right drill bit for when it comes to putting the holes dead center in these so let's pop them out <laughs> drum roll what should we do first the big or the little <laughs> now let me just say never done this before obviously i've played with resin before I've never made anything like this before. This could be a disaster. I don't know if if it's worked with the glitter. So we shall see. Ugh. Oh my. shine I love it it's a little bit messy um obviously that's not in the center <laughs> but that's fine there's a bit of a dip here I can feel it where it obviously wasn't sitting flat on its bottom but it's nice and thin so that's gonna be perfect all the sides are lovely it's nice and thin so it's gonna be perfect for this to go through oh i love oh i actually love no air pockets either no air bubbles which is nice oh okay so if i was going to do this again straight away i know i'd go neater with the glitter let's pull out the big one oh Oh my goodness. Oh. oh, now I like this. So this is what it's going to look like. My Halloween two-tiered tray. Guys, I've pretty much got them similar thickness as well. So one is not thicker than the other. Do you know... 
I think I've had fun with this. I think if I was to do it again, I'd leave out the sequins as well. I don't know. More simple. Anyway, love, love, love. So that's the two done. <gasps> Let me know what you think at this point. My next step. Now, I need to be able to drill straight into these resin pieces. So I've got this paper. I'm doing it really scientifically. <laughs> I don't know of any other way. I'm basically going to draw around this disc to get the dead center of that. Now, I'm sure there's a better way. Mathematicians out there, diameter and circumference and all that jazz. I am literally going to cut this out. Once I've cut these out, I'm gonna fold it, fold it, fold it to get that center point. And then I'm gonna come back once that's done and we'll drill. Okay, I folded the paper up into quite a few folds and I got the center point. I rested it on the resin and marked the center point with the drill. And I'm just going to drill through both of these now. I've done it for the big one and the small one. Get that hole in and then fix it together. And yeah, hopefully that should be it. it looks like completely set up of course if you wanted to elevate it off of the surface you could use a candlestick I've just used this one here this is actually from Poundland ideal guys absolutely ideal and it's sturdy so you know that's not gonna come off with just a few cupcakes on it oh absolutely love it do let me know what you think and I will see you in the next Halloween video bye